Fox News alert right now. Iran's president warning of, quote, massive response if Israel launches a counterstrike following Saturday's missile and drone attack. Trey Yanks joins us live from Tel Aviv. Trey, what's the latest? Yeah, hey, Brian, good morning. We do know the United States plans to impose new sanctions on Iran's drone and missile programs. This move is meant to send a message following that attack against Israel over the weekend, encouraging Iran to change their behavior and possibly pushing the Israelis to reduce a heavy counterstrike that they are reportedly planning. On Tuesday, National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan said in a statement, quote, we will not hesitate to continue to take action in coordination with allies and partners around the world and with Congress to hold the Iranian government accountable for its malicious and destabilizing actions. Israel is now faced with a challenging decision about how to respond. They're threading a needle between regional war and sending a message to Iran while avoiding broader conflict. Iranian officials are threatening to attack Israel again if there is any military action taken against their country. The British Foreign Secretary David Cameron said this about the situation on Wednesday while visiting Israel. The situation is very concerning. It's right to show solidarity with Israel. Uh, it's right to have made our views clear about what should happen next. But it's clear the Israelis are making a decision to act. This hour, we're following developing news out of northern Israel, where there was a Hezbollah attack drone that targeted a community center in a Bedouin village, injuring at least 13 people. This just gives you a sense of how active that northern front remains. And remember, Hezbollah is Iran's largest proxy in the region. Brian. Wow, Trey, so much, so many uh, moving uh, plates. Uh, so many plates are in the air right now. It's incredible. Trey, thanks so much.